This is Lucas Palmeira from Imagine and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. For today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make some sounds from the song Blackpool, late 80s, by the amazing electronic artist named James Holden. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we got three DRC patches and a frames patch to change. But let's start with the bass that sounds something like this. We got all these filters here that I'm going to turn off for now. This is just a sidechain side chain compressor to dip the sound a little bit with a kick. So this is our patch. Let's bring it back to the default patch. And first thing I'm going to do is drop one octave on the second oscillator, raise the volume to maximum on the second oscillator, and detune it to 132. Okay. Now drop the pre-gain to 775, like this. And now we go to the pitch modulation here. And we want the LFO2 modulating the oscillator 2. And we want the LFO2 to have a rate of 304. And now we want to change the amount of the modulation to 162. Okay, 162. So it gives a little bit of movement on the second oscillator. Now let's go to the filter. And on the filter, we want the filter changing from a low pass four pole to a low pass two pole. So it's a, not as strong filter as a low pass four pole. And drop the cutoff to 402. <laughs> Now resonance at three four six. A 
envelope generator 2 at 373. Okay. And now we want to go to the LFO 1 and change the rate to 301. Oh no, so it's LFO 2 as well. Yeah, so a little bit of that, we have it ready. So just raise the LFO 2 to uh, value to 301. So there is this wobbling effect, as you can hear. And now we go to the modulation page of the filter here and raise the keyboard to maximum. This means the higher the note the higher the cutoff and velocity to 411. This means the higher the cutoff, the higher, no, the higher the velocity, the higher the cutoff, sorry. Next, we got the first envelope generator that modulates the amplitude of the sound and we want zero attack, a decay of 666, sustain of 805, and a release of 588. Second envelope generator, we want 0, 497 DK, a sustain of 443, and a release of 557. Okay. Five, five, seven. Finally, we go to the reverb and raise the amount to 310. A decay of 479. A damping of 500. And a modulation of 437. Okay. We got the first sound ready, so now we got this equalizer here. Boosting frequencies on 383 and then a high shelf of 7.5 dBs at 3.4K. Then we got this equalizer here, boosting a little bit of uh, frequencies around 310 and boosting a little bit around 1.0K. Then an auto filter, which is basically automated here on the track as you can see there is some automations going on and finally a uh, reverb and we got our sound we got our first sound done so now let's go to the second one, which is this distortion pad. I'm gonna turn off this palette reverb, this vinyl distortion, and bring back the default patch. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is raise the second oscillator to maximum pre-gain to maximum as well okay now first second oscillator drop on octave like this and cut off at maximum resonance at 164 Now we want to change the filter from a low pass two pole to a low pass uh, low pass four pole to a low pass two pole, and now we want attack at three seventy. A decay of five hundred, a sustain of eight hundred, and a release of seven twenty. Okay, envelope generator 2 at 0, attack 3, 230 decay, 400, sustain in 100, release. Finally, we go to reverb, give it 726 of reverb. 787 decay. And a modulation of 153.
then we got this vinyl distortion. Give it a little bit more greet and a ballad reverb. And we got the second sound ready. Now let's go to the last DRC patch, which sounds something like this. I'm gonna turn off this uh, ballad reverb for now. This is a sidechain compressor. This is a real compressor that I'm gonna turn off for now as well. This is just an equalizer that I'm gonna leave, which is basically a high pass filter at 126 Hertz. And this K7D then, that I'll then explain. So let's bring back the default patch here. Okay. And first thing I'm going to do is raise sorry raise the pre-gain at 406 no sorry sub, sub, uh, sub oscillator at 406 and a pre-gain of five, 690 690. So now let's go to the sub oscillator and raise one octave. Okay, change the filter to a low pass four pole to a low pass two pole. Drop the envelope generator to amount to 234. This one is the envelope generator amount controlling how much in time the cutoff is modulated by this envelope generator. Drop the cutoff to 224. Resonance at 174. Okay. Now, for a first envelope generator, we want zero attack, 606 DK. Sustain of 189. Release of 449. Second envelope generator, we want 0660. Zero, 280 on the sustain. And a release of 696. Six. Okay. Now for some reverb, we got 316 and 817. So 316. 817 and 334. 817. 334. And for the damping, we got 500, so it's default. Now we can turn the K7D on, which has basically a sync. Sync is off, time is zero, feedback is zero, wet is full on, and it's basically I'm doing this so I can use the wow effect and the flutter to give some modulation to the sound. This little compressor is boosting the sound a little bit. Then we got a ballad reverb. And we basically have our sound ready. 513. The cutoff is not uh, as important right now because, as you can check out here on the main lead, I have DRC with some automations on the volume and definitely on the cutoff. So bear that in mind that you have here some modulations that you can check to understand what's going on. So I have on the release, on the cutoff, and also 
on the fine tuning and some volume. So let's go to the last sound, which is this music box. And the sound is this one. And what we have, you, the only thing that you have to do is if you have frames, get this patch boxy music that sounds like this and turn off the layers 4, 3 and 2 and basically you'll have this little sample that sounds like a cute uh, music box and then I have this ballad reverb and this compressor is only for side chaining so Let's now listen to the music and bear with me while I get this ready for us to listen. Okay, so we got this ready for us to listen and remember to check these automations so that you can understand better what's going on. So let's now listen. it guys so there you have it guys this was a really fun tutorial to make it's a great song and it has some nice so sounds with uh, some unique characteristics I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you do please give us a like and subscribe to our channel that means a lot to us I will say goodbye for now and tell you that we have new content coming up every week so please check that out goodbye